mixed martial arts bouts. These fighters weigh 170 pounds. These two fighters are both undefeated in amateur MMA with one win and no losses. First up in the blue corner, he weighed in at 178 pounds on the top. I guess I'm uh, doing the first half with you. Celebrating his 25th birthday today. Let's see if he can come out with a birthday gift uh, tonight at Dragon House 27. It's a birthday gift he's gonna have to earn. <laughs> Absolutely, he's definitely got a present to unwrap in uh, Aaron and Mijo. Both fighters, both fighters undefeated with one and no records. Here we go, round one. A lot of cage maturity here. No, no rushing in like the uh, previous amateur bouts. Uh, definitely taking their time here. A little fill out process maybe. Tavares looks nice and calm. Mio, oh, quick left hook just missed, followed by the right. I want to be careful, he dropped his hands as he was uh, slipping that job. Nice over here right lens. Oh. Oh, wow. An exchange right there. Absolutely. Oh, Mijo's got some quick hands. Tavares is loading up. See if he can get one of those to land. These aren't small guys either. It doesn't take much to, to drop an opponent at this weight class. Absolutely. Not only about five pounds of pressure uh, hit to the right area. Definitely going to sleep. Seems to favor that left hook combination of uh, the left with the right, um, right straight to follow. You got Tavares pushing in forward with a partial combination. He's got to tie up the work from right here. Both fighters back to the center of the cage. Must be pretty confident in their stand-up. Oh, nice spinning back kick. Good first round there. Um, it's going to be an interesting round to score. I didn't see uh, too much significance as a... Uh, as far as one, one fighter over the other, so um, we'll see how they score this round here. John Fitch in the corner of Army Hill. Two. They have each other's distances down now. 
Let's see who's going to implement game plan. Loading up. Sarmijo going across. Nice front kick by Tavares. Tavares encroaching on his Oh, opponent. That is a flush leg kick. He immediately goes for the rear naked. The back take, he lands it. Let's see if he can keep that position. He doesn't have a seatbelt, but he is on top of his opponent, able to flatten him out. Armijo in a world of trouble here. If Tavares is able, there you go, this might. Tavares can't seem to wrap up that, that rear naked. It is under the chin. It is under the chin. He's going to need to tie up for that rear naked, and he's attempting it right here. Armijo definitely. It's uh, under the chin, so if he can get his left hand free and tie up. Yeah. He's using a lot of strength with his right arm. Looks like Aaron's doing the right thing. He's fighting off that hand. Uh, gets it off him under his, oh, no, nope, he still has it. But it seems that Armio's chin is uh, back under the uh, renegade attempt. Yeah, that chin's definitely saving him right now. But it might be a neck crank that he's going for at the moment. He's using a lot of arm strength. I, I want to see Tavares pull that left arm out and tie up the rear naked. Secure it. Tavares not letting go of that rear naked. He's not attempting to secure it either. No, he's got to be careful here. He doesn't want to burn out. Uh, you know, if you don't got the submission, and you can tell if you have that submission now. If you don't have it, you might want to let go, try again later, set it up, because uh, you still got another round to go after this. He's adjusting his uh, rear mount right now. Maybe go for some ground and pound. Oh, no. Armillo taking advantage and uh, making his way on top of his opponent. He's exploding now. Getting as much damage in, in as he can until the bell rings. What a nice end to that round there. That's interesting. Um, I definitely had uh, Tavares winning that fight up until that point at the end. long attempt for rear naked. Let's see if that comes back to bite him in this third round. Yeah, that's the thing about these amateur fighters, uh, the lack of experience, and I'm not saying this is going to go against Tavares, but uh, usually when you don't have those submissions, uh, you know, locked in like that, it's best to probably give them up before you, before you uh, waste too much arm strength trying to go for a submission that you're probably not going to uh, finish. Gloves, here we go, round three. This is definitely a fight I don't think either fighter wants to go to the decision card, because uh, it'll be an interesting fight to decide. So um, somebody's gonna have to finish the fight here, whether it be submission or KO. That's true, the first round was definitely a toss up. Not much action in that first round, so I don't know who would take that. Second round, uh, pretty eventful at the ending for Mio being able to get some ground and pound off and fending off that rear naked attempt. Tavares can take the back here. Uh, and it looks like sure. he's going to force it. But nice it seems, oh wow. Nicely suplex done there, but uh, Miho right back to his feet. Let's see if he goes for that leg kick. That helped him in the last round. Armijo They're exchanging here. Armijo losing his mouthpiece but still, still committed to the tie up on the fence. I don't think he wants to get rid of this position. He is, although, tied up on the fence, uh, letting his opponent get an underhook. Looks like Amijo is looking for one of those uh, hip toss there. If I'm Tavares, I, I want to take his back. Time out, referee Kane Vandal. Looks like he'll get an opportunity to uh, get his mouthpiece. And a small opportunity to rest as well. Gets his mouth guard back and they're back into the action. Oh, Tavares loads up with an overhand. Just that would have landed. 
Back over to Finn. Mm -hmm. Yep, there goes the warning there. Uh, Tavares grabbed the cage there, preventing the takedown. But in the sport of mixed martial arts, of course, we all know that is not legal. So the ref is going to give him a warning here for reaching on the fence. That could that was a pivotal uh, yeah. grab. It was an attempt for a takedown there. Sure looked like uh, Mijo had that uh, secured, that takedown. Is he taking a point? That may very well be the deciding factor of this fight He's here. taking a point. No warning. It's a bit rough. Yeah. That one point going to come back and bite birthday boy in the, in the rear end. <laughs> okay, Tavares has to change game plan. He has to go for a finish now. And you can see it. You can see it in his eyes. Tavares He's not going to leave it. it. He's not going to leave it on the... Trying to finish the fight here is Tavares. Teeing off. Vicious ground and pound line here. That's it. This fight is over. What a performance by these two welterweight fighters. Aaron Armijo, Aaron, Aaron Tavares putting on an MMA clinic here at the end of that round. What a great performance by both these fighters. Hats off to the both. This will be a very interesting fight to score here for the judges. It was back and forth all Tools. Different tools are definitely an even fight. John Fitch is a lot taller than I thought he would be. 